the stock markets dropped again on Wednesday, extending their miserable run this year as earnings from retailers including Target and Walmart reinforced worries about the health of the U.S. economy. The Dow Jones Industrial Average tumbled 1, 164 points, its largest decline since June of 2020, while the S&P 500 fell by 4%. The Nasdaq sank by 4.7%. The sharp declines were sparked by a warning from retailers that they have been facing higher costs and slowing sales, both of which have been eating into their profit margin. They represented the latest in a series of corporate results and economic indicators showing how inflation is starting to dent the economy's prospects. On Wednesday, Target said earnings fell for the first three months of the year compared to 2021. The company said it had been hit hard by supply chain issues and higher fuel costs, and although consumers continued to spend, they were buying fewer expensive items, like televisions. Target said it's not raising prices but is absorbing costs, even if they are hitting its bottom line. Throughout the quarter, we faced unexpectedly high costs, driven by a number of factors, resulting in profitability that came in well below our expectations, and well below where we expect to opt. Target slumped by almost 25% for its worst performance in percentage terms since the 1987 stock crash. Price pressures also affected Walmart, the world's largest retailer, which reported earnings on Tuesday. President and CEO Doug McMillan told Wall Street analysts on a conference call the company had to navigate a number of challenges in the first quarter of the year, including higher labor costs due to overstaffing and issues with inventory. We're not happy with the profit performance for the quarter. Walmart's stock is trading down for the second day in the row. The earnings reports added more fuel to Wall Street's fears about higher prices, which have risen at their fastest pace in decades. That's raising concern the Federal Reserve won't be able to get high inflation under control without tipping the U.S. economy into a recession. The Nasdaq, which is in bear market territory, is down almost 28% this year and the Dow has fallen almost 14%. The S&P is off 18.2%. The Fed has raised interest rates at its last two meetings, and Fed Chair Jerome Powell and his colleagues have signaled they will raise rates aggressively going forward, 